in this diagram we have a aerial view of an airport. It says compare angle 2, which is this angle right here, and the vertical angle of angle 1. The vertical angle to angle 1 is this angle right here, so we're going to label it angle 4. Classify the angles as alternate interior angles, same side interior angles, or corresponding angles. Since we're talking about this angle here and this angle here, these darker lines are the parallel lines. This other darker line is the transversal, and if we compare angle 2 and angle 4, they're on alternate sides of the transversal, and they are in the interior, so they would be alternate interior angles. And that's a good way to abbreviate alternate interior angles, AIA. In this particular problem, we're asked to uh, write a proof. Use the given, uh, given that line A is parallel to line B, therefore this line is acting as a transversal. We're going to write a two column proof to prove that angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary. So we're going to have our given statement, or our statements and our reasons. And the first statement of a proof is the given, and we are given that A is parallel to B. And once we do that, we can establish that angle 2 is congruent to angle 4 because of the corresponding angles theorem. And once we establish that they, those two are congruent, We'll establish that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. And that's the definition of supplementary angles. Next, we'll establish that the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4, and that comes from the definition of congruent angles. And next what we're going to do is substitute in to statement number 3 the measure of angle 4, so we'll write down that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180, and that's by the substitution property of equality. And also then we've established in that statement that angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary, and we'll just take one more statement that angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary, and that would be by the definition of supplementary angles. So there is the proof to show that angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary in that diagram. Example 4, using the diagram, we're given that line L is parallel to line M, find the measure of angle 1, then the measure of angle 2. Well, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 42 degrees, and the reason that is is because that this angle marked 42 degrees and angle 1 are corresponding angles, therefore they're congruent, and so we can find the measure of angle 2 by subtracting the measure of angle 1 from 42, or from 180.
that's because angle one and angle two form a linear pair. Finally, in the diagram line, L is parallel to line M, find the values of A, B, and C. This one's a little bit harder to see, but uh, it's really not that bad. If we take a look at If we take a look at this angle marked A and this angle angle marked 65, and if we use this line here, it may help you visualize it a little bit. These two angles, using this red line as the transversal, this angle marked A and this angle marked 65 degrees are alternate interior angles, so A is equal to 65 degrees. If we move this line around a little bit, We look at the angle C and this one marked 40 degrees. Those are also alternate interior angles, so C is equal to 40 degrees. And A, B, and C all together add up to 180 degrees, so C is going to be equal to 180 minus the sum of 65 and 40. So C is equal to 75 degrees.